to trusting children. I swear that you shall rue this day. If you live. What are they? Silver bullets. Really? What did the doctor say? At the first sign of something strange? Fire, I shall summon you. I don't know, it's not my mythology. Yes. What's happening? The doctor, I just received the most peculiar report from the hotel. Does it say anything about Ace and Shao Yong? No. All it said was, night has fallen here. I'll deal with that later. First, I've got to put an end to this bloodshed. Come on, Doctor. Stand in the middle and shout, stop. Good idea. Oh, this is stupid. What did you call me? I said, this is stupid. You're deaf or something. No, you didn't. I heard you. You called me stupid. I'm not a freak. What? I said I'm not a freak. I'm Ace. Are you dumb or what? I'm not stupid. Then why do you keep saying stupid things? That's good, coming from a reject like you. Listen here, Toadface. Just you shut your mouth or I'll knock your teeth in. I bet nobody likes you. Shut up. First chance he got, the doctor went off without you. Shut up! Shut up! I bet even your parents hated your guts. Shut up, you yellow son! There shall be an end to these games. I am Morgane of the Fae. I am power beyond your imagining. Surrender to me that which is mine by right of conquest. Give me Excalibur. Wow, that speech has uh, remained firmly in my mind for many, many years. I remember seeing the trailer for season 26 when I was eight or nine. I can't remember now, but um, I was around my grandmother's. I remember that distinctively. And I, I walked in and saw the advert on the television and I just shouted out, Doctor Who! I can remember that as clearly as it was yesterday. Isn't that strange um, how vivid it is still in my memory? Um, yeah, Jean Marsh there as uh, Morgane, a wonderful performance. And uh, this is all to do with um, the legend of King Arthur and uh, a battlefield, the first story of uh, this uh, this season. Um great uh, interaction there between Ace and uh, Sho Young. Um I loved how they sort of played that in the in the circle and uh, how they realized that their minds were being um affected. That was very very good indeed. And well, the return of Nicholas Courtney as the Brigadier. Uh, I don't think we'd seen the Brigadier since um Mordwin Undead. So that was a wonderful surprise. And we even got to meet his wife, uh, Doris. Yes, she caught him in the end. <laughs> and I noticed that the Doctor's got a different coloured coat. They've gone for a slightly um, 
darker look, perhaps suggesting maybe the darker tone they were taking with the with the character of the Doctor. Again, some lovely location filming um, in this one. And I think we uh, met uh, Brigadier Winifred Bambera, who uh, had taken over from uh, Lethbridge Stewart. Uh, that was um, another great performance. Uh, yes, a wonderful start to this season. I remember there was a story about um, uh, Sophie Aldred being um, trapped or some accident occurring in the water tank at the conclusion to episode two. Uh, and I think they had to uh, uh, abandon the shoot quite hastily because of the water getting into the electronics. And she always uh, uh, claims Sylvester McCoy saved her life. So well done, uh, Sylvester McCoy. That shadowy apparition we saw at the end there was... Um, the um, Watcher, played by um, Mark, oh, I can't remember his surname, but I think he would go on to appear later in the season. Uh, we'd get to see his uh, very handsome face <laughs> in uh, The Curse of Fenric. Battlefield by Ben Aronovich.